Hi everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at six easy single strand paracord bracelets. Okay, so let's head on over to the work table and take a look. Let's get started with this list of six easy single strand paracord bracelets. First up is an easy and popular bracelet that requires approximately 28 inches or 70 centimeters of paracord to complete. The single strand scaffold knot paracord bracelet. To tie the scaffold knot, begin by crossing your lines to form a loop and then take one working end and pass it through the loop and then wrap it backwards, crossing back over itself and then do this again to complete two wraps. The single strand scaffold knot creates an adjustable paracord bracelet with one knot using the scaffold knot. From there, take the working end and pass it through the center of your wraps. Once you have the end through the wraps, carefully cinch up the knot. You want the knot to be snug, but don't over tighten it or it'll be difficult to adjust later on. As you can see, when I now pull on the one standing end of paracord, the size of my loop tightens like a noose. There are a few different ways to finish the single strand scaffold knot paracord bracelet, and I have a separate video dedicated to this paracord bracelet that goes into more detail. Link in the description. Today, we'll use a couple simple overhand knots in the end of our paracord as stopper knots. There are also a lot of different stopper knots that you can use here. I'm gonna also add a link to my video, 10 Paracord Knots, which is a great resource that shows the most used decorative paracord knots. Link in the description and also at the end of this video. With your first overhand stopper knot tied, match the location with the other end and tie another overhand knot. You wanna make sure to tie these knots with the bracelet in the tight position. Now, with knots in both ends, carefully use your scissors to cut off the excess paracord, but leave a few millimeters. Then, using your lighter, melt the ends, and then use your scissors to squish the hot melted paracord down. This will tidy up your knot, but also help prevent it from untying. When you're all finished, you'll have the single strand sliding scaffold knot friendship bracelet. You can see how easy it is to adjust to the right size fit. Number two in our list of easy single strand paracord bracelets is the single strand double sliding knot paracord bracelet. For this adjustable paracord bracelet, you'll need roughly 28 inches or 70 centimeters of paracord. The first thing you wanna do is find the center of your cordage and then create a loop. Then take one working end and pass it through the loop and then wrap it backwards, crossing back over itself, and then do this again to complete two wraps. As you can see, this is very similar to the scaffold knot paracord bracelet. From there, take the working end and pass it through the center of your wraps. Once you have the end through the wraps, carefully cinch up the knot. Again, you want the knot to be snug, but don't over tighten it, or it'll be difficult to adjust later on. Your knot will look something like this. Next, we want to gauge the size of the bracelet. Pass your hand through the loop and adjust the diameter of the loop. You can now see that when I pull on the one standing end of paracord, the size of my loop tightens like a noose. Now let's repeat the knot with the free end. Just like we did with the other side, wrap it around the other line twice and form a double wrap. Then pass the working end through the wraps and cinch it up. Those of you who are familiar with the fisherman's knot will recognize this knot pattern. As you can see, we now have an adjustable single strand paracord bracelet. We could be finished here, but let's tidy up the paracord bracelet a little and make it a little bit nicer. The easiest way to finish this paracord bracelet is to trim away the tail ends with a pair of scissors. Then melt the end and give it a little squish with your scissors. Then repeat the process on the other side. I'm leaving a couple millimeters of paracord. When melting and squishing the ends, you wanna try and melt the end to the knot and not the cordage inside your wraps. 
there you have it, a single strand, double sliding knot paracord bracelet. Number three, the single strand Chinese style sliding knot paracord bracelet. For this single strand paracord bracelet, you're gonna need approximately 24 inches or 60 centimeters of paracord. With your working line cut to size and the center found, you wanna create a loop by crossing the lines. From there, we can tie our first knot. To do this, take one working end and fold it back on itself. Then take your working end and wrap it around both lines and passing it through your loop. Do this twice for a total of two wraps. From there, pass your working end through the little bite that you created as shown here. Once you have the end through the bite, carefully cinch up the knot by pulling on the standing line. To be honest, I don't know why this one's called a Chinese style. If you do, please leave a comment and let me know. You can see how you've now created an adjustable loop like a noose. It's now time to tie our second knot. So from there, repeat how you tied the first knot with your other working end. First, fold it back on itself. Then take your working end and wrap it around both lines twice for a total of two wraps. Finish the knot by passing your working end through the little bite and then carefully cinching up the knot by pulling on the standing line. Your paracord bracelet will now look something like this. To finish the bracelet, we'll tidy the knots up. Just cut the ends of your paracord a few millimeters from your sliding knot using a pair of scissors and then melt the ends with your lighter. While the melted paracord is still hot, squish it flat with your scissors. With the bracelet now finished, you can see how it's adjustable Number four in this list of single strand paracord bracelets. It's the single strand Mad Max style paracord bracelet. For this single strand bracelet, you'll need roughly 24 inches or 60 centimeters of paracord. With your working line, the first thing you wanna do is create a loop knot. To do this, take one working end and wrap it back around both standing parts, approximately an inch from the end of your bite. And then do this again to complete two wraps. From there, Take the working end and pass it through the center of your two wraps as shown. Once you have the end through your wraps, carefully cinch up the knot. Like with the previous bracelets, you want the knot to be snug, but don't over tighten it or it'll be difficult to adjust later on. Your knot will look something like this. Then take both of your tail ends and pass them through the center of your scaffold loop knot. Once you have the ends through the loop knot, you can cinch up the knot. Next, we'll tie a stopper knot at the end of our cordage. Can you guess what knot we'll use? That's right, another scaffold knot. Simply take one of your ends and like you did at the start, fold it back on itself and create two wraps. Then thread the working end through the center of your wraps and carefully cinch it up tight. You can now see we have an adjustable single strand paracord bracelet. To finish it up, let's just cut the ends of our paracord a few millimeters from our stopper knot with a pair of scissors and then melt the ends with our lighter. While the melted paracord is still hot, we can squish it flat with our scissors. Here's a close up of the knots tied. It's a nice, clean, simple look. Let's keep moving and have a look at number five in our list of single strand bracelets the single strand Eternity Knot Paracord Bracelet. For this single strand bracelet, you'll need roughly 24 inches or 60 centimeters of paracord. The first thing you wanna do is fold your paracord and find a starting position that's slightly off center. Now let's tie our Eternity Knot. Start by making a loop like this. Then pass a bite through your loop from the bottom and cinch up your loop. From there, pass your working end through your bite and again, cinch down on your working line. Your knot will now look something like this, but we're not finished yet. The next step is to twist the loop you just created as shown. 
Pinch down on the twist to hold it in place and then thread your working end up through the loop. From there, cinch up the knot until it's well dressed, tight, but still flexible. Your returning knot will now look something like this. Let's continue with this bracelet by adding an adjustable closure. Cross both working ends to form a loop. Now take one working end and pass it through the loop and then wrap it backwards, crossing back over itself and then do this again to complete two wraps. From there, take the working end and pass it through the center of your wraps. Once you have the end through the wraps, carefully cinch up the knot. You want the knot to be snug, but again, don't over tighten it. Now let's repeat the knot on the other end. Wrap it around the other line twice and form a double wrap. Then pass the working end through the wraps and cinch it up. Once again, to finish the bracelet, begin by cutting the ends of the paracord a few millimeters from the sliding knot using your scissors, and then melt the ends with your lighter. While the melted paracord is still hot, squish it flat. We're now finished, and the single strand eternity knot bracelet should look something like this. Last in our series of easy single strand paracord bracelets is the single strand braided paracord bracelet. For this single strand bracelet, you're gonna need approximately 48 inches or 120 centimeters of paracord. The first thing you wanna do is cross your paracord to create a loop. Take one working end, which should be longer than the other standing part, and pass it over the standing part and through the loop. Pass the left strand over the center strand. And then pass the right strand over the center strand. Again, pass the left strand over the center strand. From time to time, you'll need to feed the loose strand through the loop to untangle it at the bottom, but just focus on keeping the braid pattern going as you work your way down the length of the loop. You can really start to see the single strand braid taking shape. By the way, I've kept this video short by trimming the process of each bracelet down, but I have a video dedicated to each of these six single strand bracelets that's much more detailed. If you want to see more detail in any of these designs, you can find a link to each bracelet in the description. Your single strand braid should now look something like this. Now that we've braided the body of the bracelet, it's time to finish by adding a loop and stopper knot. First, we'll tie the loop at the end with the shortest remaining standing end. Fold your working line back on itself and make two wraps around the bend. Then pass the working end down through the center of your wraps as shown and cinch up your knot. Pass the opposite working line through the loop and we'll check on the size of our bracelet before tying a stopper knot. And we'll tie a stopper knot. For this single strand paracord bracelet, we'll use a Franciscan monk style stopper knot. First, fold your paracord back on itself to create a bend. Then wrap your bend three or four times. From there, pass the working end through the bend and cinch it up. The only thing left to do now is to trim away our excess and finish our bracelet. So cut the ends of your paracord a few millimeters from your loop and then melt the end with your lighter. While the melted paracord is still hot, squish it flat with your scissors. Then do the same with the stopper knot. Cut with scissors and then melt to seal. I hope this video was easy to follow, and again, if you'd like to see other paracord knots, then I highly recommend my video 10 Paracord Knots. Link in the description, and also at the end of this video. Okay, so there you have it. Six easy single strand paracord bracelets. Now, as promised, here's a link to my video, 10 paracord knots that every new paracordist should know. And if you like this video, then please give it the thumbs up leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching.